guys all. We, uh, and we're doing a short one today. Um, now I've done this on the channel before, a good while back, and fairly similar as well, so I'm just gonna keep this quite brief. Uh, I'm just gonna do a turbo cider. Um, I haven't had much chance to do really much brewing, especially beer brewing. I've got a couple of kits lined up, so I'll be doing those, uh, and then I'm off work in a few weeks. So I'm gonna get uh, the Brew Tools B80 Pro back in action. I promise. <laughs> um, okay, so really, really su super, super simple. Uh, can't be any easier, really. So sterilized fermentation bucket. Uh, and all I'm using is, uh, I've just got this kind of standard apple juice, nothing fancy. Uh, I've used 12 apple juices and three apple and raspberry juices, uh, each one a litre, so 15 litres. And you can kind of see how uh, inaccurate the uh, the markings on the bucket are, especially considering I've already taken, taken a sample of 100 ml out of it as well. Um, just to kind of see how strong it is. So that's coming out to about 1.038, uh, 1 so 1038. So it's going to be a fairly weakish cider, uh, probably around kind of, you know, I don't know, 4% tops, really. Um, I can't do the maths in my head, but you know, I'm sure you can figure it out. Um, so that's in there. I could put sugar in and make it a bit stronger. I'm not a fuss really. Just a nice kind of light cider for a hot summer's day uh, is, is kind of all I need really. So um, all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna drink that. I'm so not sterilized that I'm just gonna drink it. Um, I don't have any cider yeast, but we're not doing anything fancy here. And I kind of prefer a bit of a drier cider anyway, as opposed to a sweet one. Uh, so I'm just going to use some wine yeast, uh, and I'm sure that'll be absolutely fine. So it's probably going to bring it onto the dry side of things. It's going to ferment out probably more sugars because of the higher alcohol tolerance, I'm assuming. Uh, that would be my best guess. So again, nothing standard, not, nothing fancy, just a standard kind of wine yeast. Um, so obviously we've all, well, already got the apple juice in here. Aerated as a poured it. Sterilized spoons and surface as usual. So I'm just gonna put one big teaspoon in there. Sterilized spoon, give it a little mix. Get all that yeast hydrated, wet, mixed up into the apple juice. There. and that's it um <laughs> that really is it um so i don't like fruit ciders or anything like that anything too sweet when it comes to cider i mean i kind of take or leave it but i do kind of get the urge to have a, a nice kind of cold glass especially when it's summer um i know i said a lot of fruit ciders but because this is apple and raspberry the raspberry flavors are fairly diminished in this already uh, and then obviously you kind of, you know, pass that across, you know, 15 litres, then it's, it's you know, apple cider with a, with a hint of raspberry and, it, and it, it really is quite nice. So there you go. That is it. Leave it for two weeks, probably. And uh, I'm going to keg it. I'm going to keg it. Uh, but if you want to bottle it, then yeah, each bottle, quarter of a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of sugar, depending on how busy you want it. Uh, leave it for another week if you are bottling it and then put it in the fridge drink it and you're good to go so like i said nice short sweet video today well, there you go that's it super simple um if you liked it drop me a comment if you found it useful drop me a comment give me a like subscribe share and uh, you know all that good stuff and i'll see you again next time oh it's really good that mm, a bit good this